Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. In this video I will show you the app that allows you to create the meetings between your colleagues, between your customers, suppliers, etc. Basically it's like a conference call but with the uh, webcam. And instead of using a webcam, I'm going to use the front-facing camera. But straight away, I'd like to point out that the actual call and the front-facing camera function I cannot demonstrate because I'm using my DAX to record this video. I'm using to record the audio from my Yeti and uh, front-facing camera recording my face. So technically, I won't be able to demonstrate that. But believe me, this app is free and you can go and test it yourself out. I already used this app a couple of times during my day job. And it worked fantastic. And to be honest, when I was speaking to, to the client and end of the call, I said, have you noticed any different? They said, well, your camera was a bit vertical. So, okay. And then I explained to them that I was using DeX and I basically used the DeX and I, how to record this, what app I was using that I was using on, on the, um, on a HP lab doc and etc. And you, at the end of this conversation, the customer said, I'm going to buy one. So uh, I converted another person into the buying decks. So anyway, I have my face running here and I have the camera, which is showing uh, the pixel one. And I'm going to use this as the uh, Mr. P2, which is going to be a second person to use this. And Dex, my main Dex will be the first, first customer, let's say this way. So the app, I mentioned already this app name a couple of times, it's called Zoom. You can download this from a Google Play Store. It's available for free. So when you start it, you might, it might ask you to create an account, etc. It's simple. Come on. If you know how to create an account on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, etc., you know how to create this one. It's just using a password and all the stuff. So app is running. As you can see, it says Mr. P and it says you. The same as happens on, my, on the pixel. As you can see here, it says Mr. P2 and it says you. That's fine. So uh, start a meeting, join the meeting, schedule meeting and upcoming meetings. So uh, for self-explanatory buttons, contacts gives you contacts. You can access a phone uh, a phone address book if you allow this app to access your contacts and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Content that's where it's all the files between you you and the people that join your meeting will go here. And then the settings is basically contacts, meetings, chat, and about Zoom app. So it's quite easy to navigate menu. So let's start the meeting. So when you click start the meeting, it's gonna ask you this. It's gonna say video on and off. I'm gonna say video is off because I don't want the recording to stop during this. And uh, so I'm gonna keep video off. And it says use my personal meeting ID. So obviously if I take that off, it's auto generates the a unique ID number, but I'll just leave it that on because I'll show you why in a, in a second. So this is right now setting up on my decks. So that's fine. You can see this ID number, same as my previous video about any DEX and not any DEX. Any desk remote access, as soon as I uninstall this app and I will install it again, as soon as I create the account, the ID number will change. So start the meeting. And it's making connection and hopefully the camera is still recording because the camera actually stopped. This is great. And and leave the meeting and does it still recording okay I'll come back in a second so I'm back and what's happened as soon as I start the meeting my front facing camera froze just because I believe that this app was trying to uh, still still claim access to the front facing camera and that's why it's frozen so rest of the video rest of the video sadly you're not gonna see my smiling face so okay let's try again so start the meeting so the meeting starts and connection is established. At the top, at the top, you can see it says 928656392912. And that's my meeting ID. So if I go to my Pixel 1 and if I tap join, now it's asking me to, at the top it says meeting ID. I need to punch in the meeting ID that will allow me to connect. So if I start typing, which is 928, and straight away, as you can see, a suggestion pops up saying, do you want to join this meeting? Because I already use this ID number and it's crazy like a address books thing. So when you're contacting certain people, uh, basically you say you're contacting constantly the same supply or customer and you're using always the same ID number. So it's crazy like a history when you just one tap and you can carry on connecting. So I'm just gonna say, don't co don't connect to audio. I'm gonna say yes, because I don't want to start audio looping here because the microphone is gonna start just creating a lot of white noise. And turn off my video because I don't want that. So I'm gonna say join the meeting. 
in the meeting now is on the case and as you can see on the monitor <coughs> excuse me popped up the message saying participant join and now as you can see i have two join here and if so and they both actually right now here working as you can see this is what i see on my pixel and if i close that and this is where I would see the front facing camera pictures if we both have the cameras turned on. So that's fine. Let's go back to main and now I'll show you the um, menu. So audio, it means you turn microphone on and off. Video, you turn front facing camera on and off. And participants, that's fine. And under more, obviously you can see a lock, lock the meeting so no one else can join. Lock the share, so only you are allowed to share the content. Mute opponent uh, entry, so no more of this ding noise, which you probably not, not heard yet. <laughs> or you know, because uh, I'm not recording internal audio, but basically there is like a entering ping noise. Uh, allow participants to chat with everybody, or you can change it to yourself, and uh, etc. So it means host only, everyone, everyone publicly. So it means uh, everybody can join and listen to your presentation. If you're doing a presentation like a keynote, like a slideshow, like a, what's called webinars. So you can set this kind of thing. Allow participants to re be renamed so they can rename their usernames and etc. Under share, that's where all the fun begins. Under share, there's a lot of things you can share with your people, that, well, with your um, viewers let's say this way so this is the photos documents box so it's, it's basically box.net dropbox.com google drive.com microsoft onedrive the personal and microsoft onedrive for business you can share web url you can share bookmarks you can share screen and you can share whiteboard so what i'll demonstrate i will demonstrate a whiteboard so if you click on a whiteboard the whiteboard pops up and if i click on a pen i can see this happening on a pixel so let me turn the pixel here you go and if you see on the secondary camera i chose the pen and now i can i can start drawing and as soon as i finished it should sync and appear on the pixel so if i go and change the color let's say to black and i start drawing and in a matter of seconds it appears there there is a, obviously a spotlight which is like a laser which you can say listen you need to basically connect these two lines here as you can see red dot that's the two lines the yellow comes from there so you can start sort of annotating, sort of like showing to the viewers their, their focus point where they need to look and pay attention. Uh, with the um, screen share is basically you're going to share your deck screen if you're connecting from decks. So you're going to share your deck screen. I cannot demonstrate this one for you because as soon as I'm going to start screen share, my screen recording app will go nuts and everything will be turned off. But pretty much these options are self-explanatory. And what's the beauty of this um, Zoom meeting app on, a, on an Android and on a DeX, especially that when you have a, your DeX set up at home or at work and you're working only with DeX, you can connect to meetings that is being hosted on Windows, in a browser, and I believe on a Mac as well. So it's a, it's a brilliant thing that you can use to, to start hosting hosting meetings and etc. And actually, while we are at this, at this, uh, me talking about what can be hosted and what not, let me close all these browsing things. Let's go to actual website, shall we? So Zoom meetings. And let's check, because I know there is a free version and there is a paid version. And I want to double check because I don't want to give you a false information. So under plans and pricing, free, host up to 100 participants, unlimited one-to-one -one meetings. 30 minutes limit on the group meeting which to be honest for me personally is 40 minutes <laughs> to be honest sometimes i do even want to talk for 10 minutes or more with, with the with the with the meeting participants or more it's just i said my i said what i want and that's it you go and do what you need to do and i'll go what do what i need to do so 40 minutes limit i would say is uh it's uh it's a plenty for you to be used so here we are, go and check this app out if you're a DeX fan like I am, and you can start creating the meetings between multiple devices. Right now on the pixel, if I click leave, I'm gonna say leave the meeting. Obviously the meeting will be stopped on my DeX as it says Mr. P2 left. And now I just can close it and that's it. And obviously pixels are now thinking what to close and what to do. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. I have created the Instagram account.
called Mr. P underscore tech. I'm posting some some photos about how my, my deck setup is, what devices I use with decks, etc. If you would like to follow me, I will be extremely happy if you will do that. And pretty much that's it. Check all the links that you need in the description below, and I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.